I'm not, I'm, I'm actually not, I wouldn't say I am transgender, meaning to say I'm not going to transition. But this is a tough issue too, and this is something, I, mean, I, I can't be a spokesman for the transgender you know, community, but there is this issue that happens, there's this kind of paradox, people don't like to be labeled. They don't like to be labeled anything because it fixes them. On the other hand, we don't have a gender spectrum. We have butch femme, we have a lot of terms, I and mean, we don't really, you know, if you worked at a newspaper, you couldn't go to your boss and say, Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, and Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I want to be male. Thursday, I'd like to be female. You know, Friday, I'd like to be in between. It wouldn't go over too well. And I think, um, yeah, I remember when I was growing up, I remember sitting on the bus, and this was a guy sitting across from me. He had on men's slacks and shoes, and then from the waist up, he looked like a librarian. He had like a wool sweater, he had the glasses with the beads on it, and the, I mean the glasses case with the be uh, beads around it, and the glasses that peaked up. He was like, you know, half and half. But um, I think this is one of the things here, what the process we're going through is trying to, like the autoandrophilia, the autogynophilia, that's sexual gender identity, it's sexual desire. That's part of filling in the gender spectrum, and that's part of what we're doing. And so. It's a, a difficult mix. I mean, it, of course it happens. The other place it's happening is with, you know, Im, let's say immigration. I mean, Tiger Woods is, calls himself a Cablin Asian because he's Caucasian, black, Asian, American Indian. That's the other thing that's going on. So it's not just gender identity. But the thing about, that thing I was talking about, the DSM, in probably in my lifetime, homosexuality used to be in the DSM. Activists got rid of that. Now, what's happening is that gender identity disorder is in the DSM, which is a tough political issue because if it's not in the DSM, you can't get insurance to transition. It's expensive. And now, autoandrophilia and autogynophilia are in there, but that's sexual desire. So, unfortunately, it's going through the DSM, but what we're doing bit by bit is building up the words for a gender spectrum. <laughs>